Hello everybody, it's Maria here from Paperly Rose Paper Crafting. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you for joining me. Please excuse my voice, I'm going through a pretty bad chest infection. I started off with the flu and then it became a horrible chest infection. So my voice is a little bit funny and I'll be a little bit breathless and I may cough at times. So please excuse, um, excuse that whilst I'm doing this video. However, I feel okay enough to, to do a video because it's part of my recovery therapy. <laughs> um, I really do enjoy um, crafting and it makes me feel happy. It puts me in my happy place and um, yes, yeah, so today I'm going to be featuring a brand new bundle called the Daisy Lane Bundle. This is adorable, beautiful, a beautiful stamp set. You have a brand new little baby punch that um, coordinates also with the Daisy Punch we have in our annual catalogue. You can layer these two together and also this stamp set coordinates with this punch as well, which is the larger punch. Um, I absolutely love this stamp set and so I'll be making a card with this today as well as um, I'm going to be featuring the Tin Tile Dynamic um, Folder or 3D Folder now. This has got a beautiful like tile uh, pattern to it so I'll be featuring that today. Also uh, I'll be featuring the Well Said Dies. Just hang on a sec, I'll just grab that quickly. Um, got to bring it. These are, sorry, the well-written framelits. These are not new. They, they are new in the new um, annual catalogue, but they were around for a while. I'm going to feature this die here that says thanks. <laughs> All right, so we'll get started um, onto this project. Um, I need to bring a couple of things because I thought I was organised and I'm not, so I'll be back in one second. Sorry, I had to bring in a couple of things because I forgot. One thing I forgot is my block, so you will need a block <laughs> to mount your stamp. I'm going to use the smaller one today, so I'll just bring that out. And um, what I try to do is I line up the stamp according to how the punch punches it out. So I'll be lining it up this way. So when I punch it, it's easy, okay? So that's a tip for you, if you already didn't know that. <laughs> so um, what I'm using, the colours I'm using today are quite bright. I'll be using blueberry bushel, some whisper white cardstock and some pineapple punch. Um, I will be doing, first and foremost, going to um, burnish the score line that I've already done. This is half an A4 and scored in half again and it becomes an A6 card base. So I'm just going to burnish that score line here in front of you. Line that up. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so that's all nicely burnished. Okay, now I've got a layering piece of Whisper White cardstock That goes over the top like so and then I've got another one that goes on the inside with this one I'm going to do some ink blending so I'm going to bring around my craft sheet now I had questions the other day regarding this um, this mat so basically what it is in case and I've already featured it in another video but I'll say it again this is the Ranger non-stick craft sheet so you can use this with your inks, you can use this with um, adhesives um, and it doesn't stick. So it's a really good mat. I, I'm really pleased with it. So with my Whisper White piece of cardstock there, the, I'm going to use some Blueberry Bushel and I'm going to use my makeup brush. I love using this makeup brush and I'm just going to tap off the colour as much as possible and that sounds weird but I'm going to go at it really gentle with that. Don't want it to be too intense. But that's after tapping it off a lot and it gives you a really nice shade of blue. See that? Just gorgeous. So that's all I wanted to do with that. I'm going to take, wipe my um, craft mat 
and I'm just using my chamois. This really makes it easy. And then you leave it to dry. And it, I mean, it will be stained, but it doesn't come off on your project, so it's completely not stick, so it's really good. So I'm just going to leave that to dry. And now with this um, sheet, I'm going to grab my tin tile embossing folder. And I'm going to emboss that. And I'll do it this way. And just line it up. Just going to grab my um, my big shot. And I'll crank that through and the best way to put these folders or all folders through is spine first and that way you don't destroy your folders okay so Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? I love this folder. <laughs> and I only recently just got it. <laughs> so it'll layer on top like that. Okay. Then with my scrap piece of cardstock, actually, no, whilst I'm at it, <laughs> I'm going to cut out the thanks with the well written framelits dice. I'm going to cut that out forgot to do that. <laughs> Silly me. Oh, let's see what I'll put, I'll put up here. Okay, just get a piece of painter's tape and just keep that in place. And I, I forgot I needed my big shot for that too and that came off. So, <laughs> not very efficient today. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Just grab this now. Okay. So I've cut that out now. That's oh, not going to work. Okay, sometimes you can drop your dies and it falls out, but not this time. So I'll just poke all the bits through. And that's the thanks. Isn't that cute? Pop this back onto each sheet so I don't lose it. So, as you'll see here in a minute, we'll see how that looks. If I don't like the look of it, I'll change it up a bit. But so far, this is all right. Then I'm going to grab my scrap piece of cardstock. I'm going to get my pineapple punch ink. And I'm going to get a scrap piece of paper. And I'm going to stamp it off once because it's quite an intense yellow. And I want it to be a little bit less intense. So... I'm just going to stamp it off once and we're going to cut out nine of these.
Okay, so I've finished punching these all out. Just wipe my stamp. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, glue these together. So I'll just layer them up. So I've got three beautiful little flowers that goes with this. So what I was thinking as well was adding some burlap ribbon through the middle. But I'm not sure about that. And then with that burlap I'll have these on the top. I'll have a bit more towards the three quarter mark there. like that and then have thanks down the bottom but I don't know if I like that yellow as a thanks okay so I might cut some of this off this ribbon yep not I might I will so I'll just cut off a little length. I'll put that down the bottom here, towards the bottom. So, you know, I had an idea in my head as per usual. I do wing it quite a bit when I do this because I have an idea and then um, I'm going to get some tape to tape that down. I have an idea in my head and then I kind of wing it and I hope it works out. <laughs> That's how I craft. And, and I have to make up my mind before I do it because um, I don't have time to just fiddle around because I don't have a craft room where I can just sit and experiment. So I kind of just wing it. All right, so that's that one there. I'll glue this down. And I like using, look at the underside too of this beautiful embossing folder. And I'm just using the emboss side. But how gorgeous is even the, the, the deboss side? It's just beautiful. So anyway, I'll just put some glue. And also over the tape. So that's that one here. Okay. And with these ones, it's going to have the three there. With this thanks, I like to have a thanks down the bottom because I want it to be a thank you card. But I'm not sure if it looks good in yellow or with blue. Just trying to think. What I might do is cut the thanks out again. But I'm going to ink blend the colour instead. So... I'll just grab my makeup brush again and I'm going to use the blueberry bushel and this time I'll make it really intense just like that okay just take that off and then Excuse my voice, just wipe this off because I forgot to do it before. Okay, that should clean it. So, what I'll do is I'll bring out the thanks die again. Okay. 
Okay, put some painter's tape, keep it in place. And I'll run that through my die cutting machine. And run it back again. Take that out. Yep, off you go. And I'll just poke that through. Just poke out all those little bits. Now I'll bring back my card and we'll see how that lays out. Oh, I think that looks much nicer with the thanks like that. It's kind of got like an ombre effect and maybe I'll put it towards the more lighter side of the embossing folder like that there. I think it's beautiful. So what I'll do is I'll stick this down. I was going to use dimensionals, but I decided against it because I'm going to do something to these flowers. Stick that down there. Thanks, I'm going to have it like that. And I'll get my tweezers for this. And just stick some glue. Okay. Then I'm going to stick that down here. Like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Actually, I might layer it up with the other one upon thinking about it and kind of offset it a little bit so it adds like a little, like a shadow. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I think that looks really cool. It helps the thanks to stand out a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't go to waste. <laughs> so I'll now stick that down. And I'll just leave it there for a second. For it to stick down. Now in the meantime whilst we're waiting for that to kind of stick down there I'm going to grab my pineapple punch ink pad and grab my stamp there stamp it off once do it like that then I'm going to stamp off and I'm going to guesstimate this one I think that turned out pretty good actually considering so that's for the inside of the card so I'll just um, put some glue on the back of that panel let's stick that down 
thought it'd be nice to do something a little bit bright and cheery. Just stick that down a bit more. And that's my finished card for today. With the middles um, of those flowers, I'd like them to stand out. So give me one second, I'll have a quick think and then I'll be back. So I've decided to bring in some gold uh, faceted gems, which I think they will look really nice with these um, flowers. So I'm just going to get my paper piercer here and I'm going to put them on the middles. And I think it will set this card off a lot nicer. And that's that one over there. And it kind of then sets off the burlap ribbon too because it's kind of got like a, these are, these are the gold faceted gems, but it's got like a um, kind of a, you know, a neutral finish to it. If you can see, they look quite similar in colour. So it kind of finishes it off and ties it all together. So makes more sense now. And I think that, added the right touch so that's my finished card lots of texture <laughs> um, but I love ink blending you know um, I think it's it's a great way to add some color and without it being too intense and it really sets off the embossing folders if you can have a look just beautiful and I love the clear faceted the gold faceted gems sorry in the middle I think that adds a nice touch and um, yeah with sentiments um, you can you know set them off behind so it looks like it's got a shadow of another color and that really brings it out pops makes it pop so that's the inside of the card and that's the outside of the card so all these products are available at, at the moment for purchase these um well set well written framelits are really good there's lots of little words they've got even like um some leaves a butterfly, a bird, a candle, an ampersand, um, a heart, and some th some three flowers there too. Um, this is cute. It's got a little swirl as well here. These are great. Um, you can use them for multiple occasions. So I highly recommend these, and they're a great size. They're not overly big, and it can really set that off nicely. Um, the Daisy Lane punch uh, and stamp set you can buy them together or separately it's up to you but that's a great bundle to get well priced as well if you're interested these are these are great i love this bundle and i like the tin tile embossing folder as well 3d it's beautiful adds lovely texture to your project so i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if you have any questions please leave a comment below and i'll be more than happy to answer your questions also if you're new to my channel and you like what you've seen please subscribe i'll really appreciate it and um yeah and feel free as well to share the video around to any friend you think may be interested um and if you don't have a a demonstrator in Australia I would really appreciate your business so um, please head on to my online store at peppleyrose.stampinup.net also if you buy a lot of paper crafting and you would like a discount why not join my team I um, I have members in my team who are just in it purely for the discount and that's fine I, you don't have to sell you don't have to make videos or do anything but if you buy lots of Stampin' Up product it's actually worth to join just for the discount because I know I did at the beginning as well. So there you go. There's flexibility there if you need it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye. Everyone, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I was looking at this with the thanks there and I really didn't like it. For some reason, it just didn't speak to me too much and I changed my mind. So I pulled it off. I re-inked up where the glue came off. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use some gold foil and I'm going to do um, cut out the thanks again and I will uh, redo that again and I think it will set off really nicely with the gold. I don't know, that's just my opinion and that's what I will feel more comfortable with for myself. But let me know which of those you prefer. Um, I really like the gold. I think it will add a really nice touch. So I'll pop that through the big shot. Okay, sorry.
I thought we were finished, but there you go. I changed my mind. <laughs> so I'll just grab my um, pokey tool and take that all off. Oops. Okay, and like that, and like that, and take that all out. Okay, and now I think that suits it much better. That's, um, yeah, because it was driving me nuts. I go, I don't like it. I don't like it. A hundred percent. So I just changed my mind. Um, I'm sure we all do that when we craft. We have a vision and then it just doesn't work out. So I thought this will really set off the gold um, faceted gems and also complement the, um, the burlap. And I like to add burlap with these things it just looks nice okay so I'm going to try and put it over the top of where I had it before so the mistakes that I made are not shown overly too much <laughs> if that makes sense so just pop that over there and there okay There we go. I think that looks much better with the gold. Thanks. And uh, that's it for today. So thanks for watching, guys. Sorry I came back again, but you can also fluff up your flowers to make the card look extra special by fluffing it up. <laughs> and I think it looks lovely. See that? It looks beautiful. So there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.